all live across everywhere. Let me grab the link here and share that link on everything. To everybody who's just watching, just joining, thanks for joining us. I am just sharing this on our social media real quick. And hopefully, if everything goes well, there we go. We'll be everywhere here in just a few seconds. Had another issue today. Had a couple of issues today that kind of hit my head against a wall for a few hours today. I like wasting a few hours. Um, dealing with issues but one of the things i had issues with today was my live extreme X split whatever it's called streaming service which is what i use to put all the graphics everything here and allow me to simulcast this on youtube and facebook had another major update i don't know why i wait until 10 minutes before these to start it seems like every other week they have a major update recently hello kathy hello thomas good to see you guys here and ladies see people are pouring in even before I got it out on all of our social media. That is great today. Let me share some one last group. All right. All right. I've shared it everywhere. I don't see anybody chatting over on YouTube. I see we have about 30 people there here in the first few seconds. Welcome. Make sure to say hello. I think we're live on both Facebook and YouTube now. So busy week sorry that this is not your typical wednesday night show we had a little scheduling conflict this week so don't expect this to happen often we will return to our normal wednesday night schedule next week but for today we're here on thursday david welcome yeah it seems like okay there we go everybody on youtube's there hello john hello everybody over there good to see you so let's get these questions going if you have a question related to cork cutting Cord Cars News, or really anything in general uh, about cord cutting, leave us a comment either on facebook.com slash Cars News or on our YouTube stream. I know this gets shared in a lot of places. So check those two locations out. Jeremy asks, any uh, idea when Comcast streaming service will go live? They're saying in third in the um, this quarter. So sometime between now and the end of September, the new Comcast streaming service which is expected to be very similar to the CenturyLink and the Charter one that launched recently, limited to inside the Comcast footprint and include locals, will launch. We don't really know a lot of other details at this moment. So the next month, month and a half, we'll probably see that come out. Uh, I just figured out that I can cast this Facebook stream to Chromecast. Yeah, and they also have a Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, app to stream this too if you want to watch it on the big screen tv the downside is you do lose the ability to chat with it you'll still need a phone or something to do that hello everybody movie fans great to see you here again thank you for joining us do you think view will add a and e networks completely possible um playstation view i just did two stories on them they um just updated uh their apps with a couple cool features and added more cbs um now you can turn off that are you watching feature um on playstation view or control when it shows up if you have a data cap that is a pretty cool feature basically what happens is you can set a time frame mean time between one hour and ten hours to say are you still watching if you don't click yes and so quick it will shut down your stream that means if you fall asleep watching tv it'll stop your stream and you won't waste a bunch of data on your data cap so kind of a cool feature there Kevin, any uh, another week goes by and Sling still doesn't get it. No Fox or MLB Network. Uh, I'm sure Sling will like to have that. They'll probably need to wait until they can renegotiate their contract with Fox to get that. More importantly for me, they don't have Big Ten Network, but I'm sure they are. Sling's been slowly improving, slowly working. You know, these things don't get built overnight. I keep blowing through my data caps. What are some tips? I uh, what are some tips? I do a lot of streaming as well as host of cloud services. Um, I can't really help with the cloud services feature. If your if your ISP tracks up data, and you're backing up your PC with Carbonite, I can't really help with that. But for streaming to stay on your data cap, three big tips. Number one, turn off autoplay. 
the number one data sucker is you turn off the TV, but you let your Roku or Fire TV or whatever keep playing, and it plays three or four episodes. Well, you can burn thir- you know, four or five gigs a day when you're not actually watching it. That adds up pretty quick. So turn that off. Um, consider, you know, like when I buy my daughter a movie or a TV show to watch, I buy it in standard def because she's a kid and she's watching cartoons and standard def Mickey Mouse Clubhouse looks just as good as HD Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I can't tell a difference. Same with the stuff like Family Guy. So consider maybe not having a HD stream of everything. That's like a cartoon show if you're buying anything like that. So keep that in mind. Um, those are the two big ones. Go to corecardsnews.com, type in data cap tips, data cap tips into the search box. It'll give you some recommendations. Um, OA, Kevin OAN is on DirecTV now. They're kind of a new cable network. I think they're still trying to uh, assert their value to a lot of networks. A lot of traditional cable, t- cable providers also don't carry them. But um, that cloud service, OAN has their own streaming service, and DirecTV now all carries them if you're looking for it. Time to start talking about NFL and watching games. Uh, well, you can watch it through uh, PlayStation View and Sling TV. Both have the NFL and the NFL Red Zone if you're looking for that. Um, do you think we have hope for true data neutrality? Once we have competition, I think the issue to data cap, or the solution to data caps, I should say, is competition. That's why I'm so excited about 5G internet coming out. Suddenly you got five, six, seven internet providers to pick from instead of one, two, maybe three if you're lucky. Um, that's what's going to solve it. That, 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 that's just what, what needs to happen. We need data caps out there. Yeah, one gigabyte speed is a really great speed there, Jeffrey. Um, that should easily um, stream Netflix. Really, you only need like 20 down to be a, get a good streaming experience. With Disney pulling out of Netflix and creating their own service, do you think um, these are becoming like cable, nickel and diming you? You know, Mike, the thing with that is, t- first of all, Netflix isn't pulling out of, or who, uh, let me back up. Disney is not pulling out of Netflix until 2019. So no need to pack. Um, number two, remember the fact that um, it's all about what you want. The great thing about core companies is subscribe to what you want and subscribe to what you don't want. There's no reason to get what you don't want. Also, you can subscribe just when you want to have access to it. So I like college football, so I subscribe to a live TV streaming service uh, when I have um, college football season. And that saves a lot of money and a lot of time. So keep that in mind is... Unlike cable, who thinks you're not smart enough to choose what services you want, uh, and they're just going to tell you what bundles you're going to get, um, core cutting relies on you to make the decision. And I think American population is more than intelligent enough to go out there and pick the services that are right for them. Are mobile hotspots a good replacement for internet companies, um, gouging customers? Not really, not for streaming, because of the fact that they have once you cross a certain data point, usually somewhere right around 20, 22 gigabytes a month, they do reserve the right to slow you down. Doesn't mean they're always going to do it, um, but they do reserve the right to do that. So keep that in mind that depending where you're going to live, it, some mobile hotspots will work better than others. It really depends on congestion and so forth. Ken, the reason they're doing that is because they want to compete with fiber. Um, Verizon is offering basically gigabyte speed down is what they plan to do through 5G. And they've had some successful tests and they've had some crazy speed tests over on um, their 4G network even. And they're looking to become a home internet service provider. And they want to take on fiber. And so does Google. So does Dish, Charter, AT&T, T-Mobile. They're all testing this idea. And they say by the end of 2020, over half the United States would be covered. So, yeah, home internet without wires. Takes the idea of having to run a fiber line to every single house in a town, which can take years, to just upgrading cell phone towers, and suddenly you have 5G internet everywhere. Um, So keep that in mind. And, you know, Verizon believes in this so much, they're spending a billion dollars to run fiber to their cell phone towers to handle the new traffic. So, pretty cool. Why Roku do not have a IFC app? I, not really sure. I thought they did. Maybe they don't. Do you think Disney starting their own streaming service is a good thing? 
I think options are always a good thing. One of the things I think people need to remember is Disney owns part of Hulu. And at no time has Disney said they intend to pull their content from Hulu. So it sounds like you're still going to get your con- your Disney content through a, another service. In this case, you still continue to get TV shows and so forth through Hulu because uh, Disney owns a third of Hulu. But if you want more, if you're like a huge Disney fan and you just want everything, you're going to have the option to get that. I always think options are great. Any news on the Mohu Wi-Fi antenna? Yes, they said at the end of this month, uh, the uh, Labor Day weekend, they will have that service come out. Paul, Select TV's new DVR service they launched. Their website isn't very clear exactly what kind of features they'll have, so we just, we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, pre-orders now, device doesn't come out for a few months. So unfortunately for that question, I don't know. We're going to have to wait until it comes out. Good evening, Duke. Good to have you here. Um. Uh, okay, James asks about CBS coming to DirecTV now. Yes, CBS is coming to DirecTV now. We don't know when. They say in the next few weeks that CBS own channels are going to come, and they kind of throw a little bone there. Like now that we have, um, you know, a deal with CBS, we can now go get a deal with all the other smaller CBS affiliates and. DirecTV now already has deals in place with most owners of CBS affiliates because those owners also own channels for NBC, ABC, Fox, and so forth. So they're hoping to quickly roll out uh, more CBS ones, it looks like. You know, David, we just, um, we don't promote piracy here. We're only going to talk about legal options, sorry. Uh, it's just what we do. We we cover the legal options about being a common core card. If you want to watch NFL Red Zone, Sling TV and PlayStation View both offer it. Um, David asks, are individual profiles coming Direct TV now? We don't know that. What we can tell you is that Direct TV now is really working on a brand new app, and it'll be a totally new app experience, and a lot and it seems to be going alongside of their new um. DVR feature. So we'll have to wait and see. For now, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. How long do you think Hulu will be in beta before it's available on all Roku devices? Hulu had the Fire TV in beta testing for about two months. It's only been a month, maybe max, from my understanding, that it's been in beta on the Roku. So sometime in the next month or so, maybe. It depends on what kind of issues they may run into. If they if everything goes smooth, it could be out in a week. If they run into issues, it could be a month from now. I don't know. I don't don't promise me on that because I don't know for sure. Josh asks, any news on Bidgo? No, unfortunately, Bidgo has not said anything. I think I did a little research and they late last year, it's the last press release I saw from them, and they've been dark ever since. Any word on when YouTube TV goes to the Fire TV? George, no, YouTube has said nothing about adding YouTube TV to Roku's Fire TV and so forth. Heck, they don't even have an Android TV app, and they're owned by it. And both you know, YouTube and Android are owned by Google. College football is coming up, and DirecTV seems to be the best fit for me. What streaming device do you recommend? Um, Pretty much all of them. DirecTV now is pretty consistent. I would go with the boxes over the sticks. The boxes work a little bit better. Uh, Price-wise, it can't be Roku's price um, on a lot of these devices. Uh, Fire TV is another good one. Apple is very expensive, but if you buy a lot through the iTunes store, that's not a bad one. Um, I use primarily Roku in my house, but I own all of them. As you can kind of see back here, all the boxes I got back there. You can see all the streaming players. Um, So keep them all. um, Get whatever you like. Any news about the DirecTV Now DVR beta? Other than the fact that a whole bunch more people got access to it this week, not really, nothing new. Um, there's a pretty hefty non-disclosure agreement you have to sign. And so far, no one's been willing to break that, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, Luke, why don't um, the TV streaming services care about PBS? I, I don't think it's that the TV streaming services don't care about PBS. I think that PBS doesn't care about TV streaming services. PBS is trying to sell stuff. You know, PBS at core is a business. PBS is a very profitable business. And um, yeah, so write PBS and tell them you want them on those services. It just It's a matter that PBS needs to want to be there too. 
Um, does anybody get in-depth surveys from Jack TV now in the last couple of days? Jerry, um, did you get a you got a survey from them in the last few days? Tell me what what did you get there from Jack TV now? What did the survey ask about? I'd love to know more. Um, Oz, as when is the CBS and Showtime coming to Direct TV now? They said in the next few weeks. All right, keep the questions coming and we'll do our best to answer them. Any news on when NBC is coming to Orlando? Uh, NBC and all those have been rolling out um, regularly. You know, it depends on what streaming service. It could be DirecTV Now gets it tomorrow and Hulu doesn't get it for a few months. So it could be any time. It really could. Um, PC Doctor, no. Thursdays are not going to be the normal one. I posted about this on Facebook yesterday. I had a scheduling conflict yesterday, uh, Wednesday. So this week only, we're on Thursday. Next week, Wednesday, we go to... Um, back to regular uh, Wednesday days. Everything will be the same after that. Thank you for the $1 donation. Yeah, I, I, I banned a bunch of people there last year. Um, which reminds me, I didn't get actually that many people applied to be a mod. We are looking for a few people. If you are interested in becoming a mod of the YouTube feed and help keep the chat clean, Email info at cordcuttersnews.com, info at cordcuttersnews.com. Tell me why you want to be a mod and tell me what what name you use. And I'm trying to find people who are regulars in the chat that want to help keep the um, spam clean. So if you want to help, again, the way to apply that is info at cordcuttersnews.com. Tell me what your YouTube account name is that you chat with when we talk. And then talk. Um, tell me why you think you'd be a good fit for that. So we'll love to have some additional mod moderators out there. So, um, all right, Luke, I'm using PlayStation View currently, but no, there's a price increase coming. Do you know if any other services offer B10 Network? Yeah, pretty much everybody offers Big Ten Network. Hulu, DirecTV Now. The only one that doesn't is Sling TV. Um, but hopefully soon that will change. Um, how about a round of... Um... Oh, thanks, Kevin. I really do appreciate the kind words there. We, we do work hard. Why did Fox remove their shows from Netflix, Spy on Cast? Because Fox owns uh, about a third, roughly, of Hulu. And they're moving their stuff over to Hulu now. Um, they own it. They get better profit share from Hulu, probably. So that seems to be where Fox is going. Sounds like Disney's doing the same thing. And all the talk about Disney leaving Hulu and launching a streaming service in 2019. Remember, 2019, this is way down the road. Um, people, you know, the people are kind of missing the fact that there's been no mention of them planning to pull anything from Hulu. If anything, it sounds like they're planning to move more stuff onto Hulu. So, yeah. It's just the fact that these networks own part of Hulu and they want their content there. You know, I don't know off the top of my head, uh, Wee Wee, of what the uh, NFL Game Pass price is. Uh, I'm not sure. Does anybody know? Is it 49 or 99 a month on Roku? A word on Roku update for PlayStation View is coming. The current interface is miserable. John, sadly, um, Sony has at no time even hinted that they're considering um, plans to uh, update the Roku app. They just seem to have completely forgotten about Roku, probably partially because maybe they're a little worried about Roku is the dominating force in streaming with over half the United States um, streaming media player sales being Roku players. And they're trying to also sell PlayStation streaming players through their PlayStation gaming system. So maybe that's the issue. I don't know. So, um, Sony's losing out there. I'll tell you right now, it's costing them sales. Two things are costing Sony subscribers. The name, PlayStation View, if they would just call it View TV or something like that, um, it will probably get much better reception there. And the fact that the Roku app, which is the number one streaming service in the United States, 
on Roku is just awful. Luke, did you see the reply about the DirecTV Now service? If not, it was just asking what um, preferences each, cumber, cu uh, each customer wanted. Also wanted to know what problems the user had encountered. Oh, when you say preferences there, Jerry, what do you mean that DirecTV Now is surveying people about their preferences? I'd love to know. Can you tell me a little bit more there? Lester, Roku's interface is deliberately simple. Um, my four-year-old daughter can use a Roku. My parents use a Roku without problem. And I think Roku deliberately designed their user interface to be very simple. They have been doing a lot to upgrade it. The Roku channels, those new ones like DirecTV Now, Comcast, the new MLB TV, that new Hulu one I posted, they're beautiful. You, The user interface on Hulu and Amazon and all that sling is the same on PlayStation as it is on Roku, as it is on Fire TV and so forth. So they're doing a really good job with that. You know, so you, you know, if you don't like the user interface or something else out there, but Roku really seems to want to be a device that works for everyone. Um, and they kind of seem to be working with controlling over 50% of all U.S. streaming player sales. Can I use a Channel Master amplifier on a Mohu Leap? Yeah, um, any old amplifier will work. It do doesn't hurt to try. What do you think about the Roku shutting down illegal um, pirate channels? I've kind of heard a little bit about that, but I haven't heard much. I, the, some of the very popular ones out there um, are still happening. Do you have a link there, Bionic Woman? I've heard somebody sit, mention that to me, but I haven't been able to find anybody listing like what service got shut down and so forth. I know Roku is facing a lawsuit because their third-party channel stores um, allow piracy. And I noticed that Roku now has a new, um, new service out there. So we'll have to keep that um, in mind. Huh. I, I did not realize that Roku shut down iStream at all, the unofficial channel store on that. Anybody else, can somebody else confirm that iStream at all, even the unofficial channel store has been banned? iStream at all may be shut down, not because of Roku. If iStream at all shut down, period, um, that may be very possible. Um, because of legal action facing them. But services like that have been facing a lot of legal action really recently. CISO, um, yeah, CISO, the NBC comedy streaming service did shut down. Not really surprised by that. They've kind of taken the foot off the gas pedal there and they've been shopping around the series that they do have to other companies. So we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't think um, iStream at all has been shut down. I know for a few years ago, Roku, they briefly had an official Roku channel. Roku realized, oh, this doesn't look legit, so they pulled it. And they've had an unofficial one. And as best I can tell, it's not official. Their argument of they buy the DVDs and then they stream the DVDs to you has never held up in court. For instance, um, the... Uh, um, VidAngel, that's what I'm looking for. VidAngel had the same kind of argument that we buy DVDs and then edit, you know, restream them to you. And you can, you know, buy and sell your stream back for you kind of thing. A U.S. court basically said, no, that's not going to hold up water. So I stream it all um, uses the same argument. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. Fred, Simple TV version 1, I don't think it can be modified. Um, I think... Um, it's uh, HD Home Run version 2 of the Simple TV. They're converting into HD Home Runs. Version 1, they are um, going and I think giving you a discount to buy an HD Home Run box. Just go over to two HD Home Run, look at the products. You'll find this like conversion kit for Simple TV if you want to try to save your um, Simple TV. Yeah, the Apple TV pushing their own content is kind of the issue with the streaming players also owning a content store. The Fire TV does that. Even the Google Play does that too. Um, the uh, So yeah, so keep that. It's kind of what it is. It, you know, Apple, the only reason they sell Apple TV is to sell more stuff on iTunes. The Fire TV is all about selling more stuff on Amazon. Uh, it's kind of the reason why I think Roku has done so well is because they're like, we don't care. You can buy your content from anybody, and we're not going to tell you what you think. 
what over there antenna would you recommend to get the best high view reception um indoor outdoor i like the brand new mohu glide leaf um antenna direct has some good ones turk um antennas which are found at like walmart and stuff they're another one so the mohu glide leaf the antennas direct ones and the um and so on are the ones I recommend. Um, Jerry, see the comment above about Drag TV Now survey. Uh, I don't see it, Jerry. Could you repost it? I can't scroll back far enough. I gotta kind of stay focused. What it's right there right now. But leave a comment again. I'll like check it out. Any anything this week from Mohu regarding the new airwave? The airwave antenna is scheduled to come out the first weekend of September. Um, Lab Labor Day weekend. Expect that to happen at Best Buy stores. First place to get it. So I wish HD Home One worked with Roku. Yeah, so do I. I wish the HD Home Run also had built-in Wi-Fi. I mean, the um, Clearstream TV has it. The Mohu Leaf has it. The um, uh, that other antenna with Wi-Fi built-in has it. And the Tableau DVRs have built-in Wi-Fi. I think HD Home Run needs it too. When will should we expect CBS stations added to DirecTV now? Sometime in the next few weeks is what they're saying. Don't expect them all to show up at the same time either. DirecTV now has been like, oh, we got one station ready. Let's launch this NBC. And then let's launch this one, that one. They seem to be throwing them up as quickly as they're ready. So it's probably not going to be like a mass day where just like, all 25 CBS stations show up at once. It'd probably be like three today, five tomorrow, and so forth. Um, so yeah, so hey, don't forget, if you are a um, YouTube uh, viewer and you wanna become a mod, we are looking for people to become moderators. And we would love to have some more people Join the team. E email info at corecardsnews.com. Tell us a little bit about yourself, why you think it'd be a good one, and include the name, your YouTube account name, because we're looking for people who we see here a lot who are active participants to help moderate the comments. You just get the ability to help remove any spam comments that come through. Seems like YouTube's having a real issue with spam that Facebook is not. Is there a um, module of HD Home Run that has Wi Fi? Uh, no, Colin, there is not a version of the HD Home Run that has Wi-Fi built in. Their website is very misleading on that, uh, at least in my opinion it is, where they'll talk about Wi-Fi, but you still need to connect the HD Home Run through your um, uh, your computer or through an Ethernet cable to your router, and then from there, devices can connect to Wi-Fi, and that's what they're talking about. Why have you heard about Verizon TV streaming service? That it's expected sometime this year. Um, and we'll have to wait and see. Hey, John asks, what is your favorite antenna box user interface? Uh, when you say antenna box, can you explain, are you talking about like an HD Home Run, a Tableau, a Clearstream TV? Is that what you're talking about? Let me know. Huh. So Kenny s says that a FBI warning is now popping up when you launch I the iStream Roku channel. That is very interesting. Let me, I will make a note uh, about this. I mean, it makes sense. Roku, if you don't know the story, Roku in Mexico got banned because they got sued by Cablevision down there, which I think is actually a different company than the Cablevision in the United States. At least it's a subset of that company. Um, that the uh, company out there so basically said that Roku is facilitating piracy because these unofficial Roku channels allow piracy. Even though they're not in the Roku channel store because they're able to be added to a Roku. And Roku does have some control over third party channels. Um, so, that's something to keep in mind. Um, so they lost the lawsuit and currently Roku's are still banned in Mexico. They won an appeal, then they lost a, an appeal and currently I think they're challenging again. Uh, you know, Oz, I'm not familiar with that streaming service so I just can't comment on it because I haven't tested it. 
Everybody's asking about CBS DirecTV now. They say in the next few weeks. But Kenny and everybody else asking about those um, third-party Roku channels like Match TV and iStream at all. Um, let me, after I'm done with this, I have some contacts over at Roku. I'll email them and I'll do some digging. That sounds like an interesting story there. Um, HD Home Run Duplex. Yeah, that looks, that is nice. The, I think the biggest issue is it still just doesn't support Roku. And with Roku dominating over half the United States uh, markets, they need, they need to get out of Roku to really become successful. Is DirecTV now getting a Sunday ticket? Um, possible. They've done some surveys, asked some questions about it, but they haven't actually made any announcements. And it could happen this year. Something tells me we may have to wait until next year um, for um, AT&T. Next time I talk to AT&T, I'll see if I can find out something. So, yeah, if you have a question, leave us a comment over on YouTube. Don't forget to visit us at Twitter, um, Core Cars News app, at Core Cars News on Twitter, excuse me. And if you're viewing us on YouTube and you're new, welcome. I see we have a good amount of people watching us right now, a few hundred on both our platforms. Um, hit the subscribe button. Every Wednesday, I know this is Thursday, we typically do this on Wednesday, um, we answer your core cutting related questions. So, um, so keep uh, checking back every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern for an hour. We're here to answer all your core cutting related questions. And we do posts about all kinds of videos, how-to guides, or anything we can do to help give you the most out of your core cutting experience. Um, my TV does not have a tuner. What should I use for over-the-air TV? You can buy a digital converter box, which has HDMI outputs. Um, Vizio, I believe, is the main manufacturer kind of pushing this. They're not including tuners in their TVs anymore. Um, that's one of the things I like about TCL. I'm kind of becoming a bigger and bigger TCL fan. They've made very clear that they intend to continue to include tuners inside their TV. Um, Fred asks, do I need uh, DVR anymore? My son uh, was on the local news story um, posted on YouTube. Uh, can stream... TV episodes the next day on apps. Yeah, you can stream like on Hulu and so forth and different ones, but a couple things. Not every show is going to be able to be streamed. Um, but so I still think a DVR is a great option because there's a ton of content, both new and old. And the other thing about streaming, um, you know, through apps, you're only going to get the new stuff. The all those like reruns, like I really recently saw all the I Love Lucy's are streaming in my or airing in my area, so I got my DVR building up a library of I Love Lucy right now. Um, those aren't added onto streaming apps, so my DVR is the only way to do that. So yeah, I think DVRs are still a very important part of it. Other options than converter box, buy a DVR there, movie fan. I like a Tableau DVR and just stream it to your TV. What do you hear on the tab, um, TiVo front? Are they getting out of the consumer business? Uh, they're definitely downplaying the um, consumer side of it. Recently met with them back in April, had to sit down with some of their team. Uh, very nice people, but they made it very clear since the Rovi uh, merger that they're getting more into the commercial data side. Uh, for instance, Roku signed a deal with them, TCL signed a deal that they're gonna partner with their data analytics side to make Roku TVs even better. So look for some cool new search features and. Um, content discovery coming to Roku TVs with that deal with TiVo. Any news on Fox News coming to Sling TV? Nope. No. Sling TV and others, they really don't like to make announcements about things coming until it happens. So when it happens, we're going to find out. Hello, Tim. Welcome. Which streaming service is better, Direct TV Now or Hulu? Um, who has the channels you want? Uh, my recommendation is they both are great. They both offer a free trial. Give their free trial a go and see which one you like. Oh, what? Um, all right, I already answered that. Um, what is your favorite over-the-air HD antenna? Um, I don't really have a favorite antenna. I got a few favorite brands. Um, antenna Direct is a good one. Mohu is a good one. I really like the new Mohu Glide um, Leaf. And the um, Turk antennas. Uh, those are three great brands. They both have indoor and outdoor antennas. Uh, I don't think you're going to go wrong with those antennas. You know, here's the thing about live TV streaming services. They're all good. The thing is, they all have different channels and different price points. And we kind of need to remember the fact that 
what you like is not what somebody else likes. Unlike cable, streaming isn't about like, hey, we're going to tell you what to like. Um, so with core cutting, it's like you got all these options. Pick whatever one's right for you. The best thing is they all offer a free trial. So take advantage of the free trials and see which one you like. PlayStation View is raising their price by roughly 25%. I have z seen zero improvements. Are they going to swing the pot? Chris, they're they kind of hinting that they are planning to swing the pot. Um, some people are getting, they have been slowly rolling out more locals. So some people are getting more locals. Some people have got a free upgrade for six months to the Elite, which means you pay that whatever price you're paying now, but you get more channels. Um, but Sony hasn't really come out and said, we're raising the price because of X, and to make up for it, we're doing Y. Um, and I think PlayStation View, let's be honest, the, the PR at PlayStation View at Sony sucks. And I can email them over and over and over again, and sometimes they'll email me back, sometimes they won't. I think Sony would do a much better keeping their subscribers happy and keeping subscribers if they would do a better job communicating to their subscribers. They needed to explain why they raised the price. And I know, I know right now, PlayStation View subscribers are going to come and say, Luke, it was not a price increase. There was no price increase. That was a promotional rate that they canceled. No, no, it wasn't. At no time, when if you lived in the area that they offered slim plans, at no point during the sign-up process did Sony say, hey, uh, you're going to get a $10 discount because you don't have locals or this is a temporary. They didn't do anything like that. That Sony um, just gave you it for $29.99 and said, here, here's the service. Here's what we charge you. Out of 210 markets, 204 um, got the $29.99 deal that they're now raising to um, uh, $39.99. So... Yeah, it was a price increase. The vast majority of PlayStation View subscribers are going to see that. And Sony needs to come out and really explain why they did it and why you should stick with them. And just giving you six months of free upgrade to uh, PlayStation Elite, I don't think is the right answer for them. I think they'll do a much better job maintaining their customers if they got better communication. They have no Twitter account, no PlayStation View, a visual you know, Facebook page. I think they need to separate the gaming PlayStation from the streaming PlayStation View. Um, just to be honest with you, it's a good service. There's a lot of things to like about PlayStation View. Their communication level is not one of them. Will Viacom ever fold into streaming? Viacom, you know, their investors seem to want them. Investors have been downgrading Viacom's stock rating to sell. And one of the big reasons they did that is they said Viacom has become, in my words, anti-core cutting. They're not, they pulled from Hulu, they pulled from PlayStation View. They haven't gone on to some of the newer streaming services out there. And yeah, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, will Viacom ever full? Okay, just just answer that. I don't know why I'm reading that again. Um, I recommend a two channel router. Yeah, if you have an older router, especially one that's not AC, uh, Brian makes a great point. If you want smooth streaming, upgrading to one of the newer routers with AC especially um, is going to be well worth the money. I um, think uh, at and Sports is going to come on Sling. Could be. I would expect at and Sports, which is owned by at t to go on DirecTV now because it's also owned by um, at and They uh, are at t or excuse me, the Utah Jazz, who get, their games are aired on the newly renamed at t Sports Networks came out about a month ago and announced that, hey, yes, um, we just renewed our TV contract and a live TV streaming service will carry Root Sports before the start of the NBA season. But they didn't say which streaming service it would come to. And there really hasn't been anything else said about it since then other than Utah Jazz have not retracted that statement. And um, so keep that in mind. Uh, that is likely in the next month or two that... Um, at t Sports will come to a live TV streaming service. If I had to put money on it, I would probably say DirecTV now, but we don't know that for sure. Um, Donna asks, what's the AC standard? AC is the new Wi-Fi standard. So you got you used to have the um, G, Wi-Fi G, and then upgrade to Wi-Fi N, while Wi-Fi AC is the even faster streaming service out there. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's just a faster, much faster than much better streaming content. 
Any news when Stadium will launch? Um, if you don't know what Stadium is, Stadium is a new sports channel. It took a bunch of smaller properties, Time, um, Sinclair, which is the largest over-the-air TV broadcast network, and a bunch of others um, teamed up and um, are offering a new, soon-to-be-launched, free streaming 24-hour sports service that's going to have a ton of college football, Mountain West games, Conference USA games, Patriot League games, and so forth they are all going to be streaming there uh, for free. They're also going to be on Roku. They're going to be on Twitter. They're going to be all over the place. They're also going to be producing multiple weekend college football games, some of which will air on um, Sinclair-owned streaming services. Um, so you'll be able to, um, in some local markets, watch in your Sinclair-owned sub-channel, probably like a CW or my TV or something like that, uh, college football games more college football games coming free over there so keep an eye on it they said mid august it will launch they're already doing daily programs that air on like twitter well like a sports highlight show and twitter said that that um new sports network called stadium will be their first 24 7 streaming channel on twitter um, Green asks, will the uh, mayweather fight be free on showtime no it won't be free but show to Showtime does have a new streaming service called um, Showtime um, PPV.com, um, PayPerView.com, basically Showtime PayPerView, PPV.com. So not spelled out, just PPV. Um, will allow you the ability to um, subscribe and pay. It's the same price as cable is on the PayPerView and watch it. The only catch there is it's brand new. They do say they'll have some streaming apps out for streaming players before the fight, but what device you buy it on is the device you have to watch it on. So if you buy it in your browser, you have to watch it through your browser. If you buy it on your Apple TV, you have to watch it on the Apple TV. At least for now. Expect them to continue to approve that, but yes, this pay-per-view event will be streamed to court carters. Hippie, sadly, I don't know where you live, so I can't comment on why or your current over there TV situation there. Is Netflix going to lose Marvel TV shows if Disney starts on streaming service? Probably. We don't know the detail. The only thing, now we all need to take a deep breath on this Netflix Disney story. Two things. The only thing we know is new Disney movies won't be added to Netflix starting in 2019. Currently, every month, one new Disney movie that was recently released in theaters is um, being added to Netflix. Now, that will stop in 2019 as they make them available for sale through a new streaming service. The So we don't know if that means all Disney content. You see a lot of people saying all Disney content being pulled. We don't quite know that. Um, so let's just kind of wait and see. We won't know details until 2019 is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, you know, that's not... Not go jumping off cliffs until we know more. Some of those news articles yesterday, man, they wanted you to go jump off a cliff. They they were pretty much telling you the world is over. It was kind of comical. What do you think of CBS blacking out sporting events? According to the streaming service, Hulu um, and PlayStation View both said that we had a CBS outage and that that won't happen for the regular sports season. All right, we got about 10 more minutes of this. 10 more minutes, please. So get your questions in and don't forget, um, check out um, us on Twitter, at Core Cars News. Uh, please subscribe. We're getting very close to um, 16,000 subscribers there. Keep pushing that. If you're watching us on YouTube, we're very close to 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. Just need um, 100 or so more. So if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Every Wednesday, uh, we... Um, we have a weekly q and I know this is Thursday. They're typically on Wednesday. And we post regular videos on help you get the most out of your core current experience. Luke, Luke, have you heard any news of the Discovery Channel networks being, um, will be lying direct to you now? Um, customers subscribe to their app or log into their app. Excuse me, misread that. Nope. Um, if they do add any more app support to DirecTV now, I'll make sure to report that. Um. The best way to find out what streaming service is watching your movies is, um, um, Cheyenne, if, do you own a Roku? Uh, if you own Roku, the Roku search app is very powerful, much more accurate than I find than many of the websites out there. Um, the uh, Apple TV and the um, 
and the Fire TV uh, both have about, I think Roku Universal Search is a little bit better. What streaming services are you currently subscribed to? Um, yeah, so we're currently subscribed to several streaming services in my house. I currently, for work, have everything. I have every live TV streaming service, Hulu, DirecTV Now, PlayStation Review, Sling TV, Fubo TV, the list goes on and on. What I use in my house is different though. I um, have Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. Those are the big three streaming services I subscribe to all the time in my home. Though I always have those subscribed. Um, I, I just like their content. And of course, Amazon, you get free next day or two day shipping depending on where you live. Um, I'm a big college football fan. So in years past, I've used Sling TV. Direct TV now has become a very tempting package for college football. But I usually subscribe to live TV streaming services for my house just during football season, really, to be honest with you, college football in particular. So that's what I use. I will also use a lot of free services, Twitter streaming service, news on, I like its ability to watch local news. The, um, I'm trying to think of some of the other free ones. I don't have as much time to watch TV as I used to. <laughs> Court Carter's news keeps me kind of busy. But those are kind of a couple of big ones out there that I use regularly. Do you know if Hallmark will be streaming on anything? Yes, um, Hallmark does stream on Fubo, uh, DirecTV Now, and Sling TV. What um, increases what increases your ability to receive over there? Signal, go high. If you're having a, oh, you live 87 miles from towers, you may be in a tough spot there, Colin. But go as high as you possibly can. Get the most powerful outdoor antenna you possibly can. The um, Antenna Direct V4, 4V, whatever it is, is a very good outdoor antenna I would recommend you check out. Uh, Pluto TV, yes, there's another good one that Bill recommend, free service. Um, Colin, but you know, when I became a cord cutter, I lived about the same distance from transmitters and I lived in a valley. I just, I didn't get any over there TV. You don't need over there TV to be a cord cutter. I recommend using Hulu to get next day access to the shows. Um, but it does make it a little bit more difficult. They do say the new 3.0 um, version is going to be a much more um, do much. The 3.0 version of Over There TV will do a much better job of penetrating through mountains, through land, and so forth to get the signal to you. So hopefully, in the next few years, that'll come out. What's your favorite Roku? Um, I, I like the Roku Stick. That's a pretty powerful, cheap player. If you're looking to go cheap. If you got the money, that Roku Ultra, that's a nice streaming player. Um, 4K, Dolby Vision, HDR. Very responsive. I, I like the remote. Um, remote, point anywhere remote. Does a good job. Um, so those are two. If you're looking just at Roku, those are the two I recommend. You know, really, they're all great. The Premiere is a good brand, too. Um, got it right over here. So check that out. What's a good amplifier? Um, the... Uh, Channel Master amplifier is a pretty good one if you don't like the one that came with your antenna. Channel Master makes a good amplifier for antennas. There are no local channels on my Drag TV now on Sling and um, Hulu. Do you know why? Um, just because they haven't made any contracts with your local TV stations. Email your local TV station's general manager and tell them we want um, you guys to be on Hulu, Drag TV now, whatever service. Uh, I will say that like Drag TV now announced that they're going to be adding fifty new locals over the next couple of weeks. Hulu just hit 200 locals around the United States. So there's a slow race going on right now to add locals to streaming services. Just about five more minutes and we're gonna wrap it up. Don't forget, if you are a regular on our YouTube stream, I am looking for people to be, um, to help us admin and screen comments. So if you wanna be a, um, a moderator, which basically your only job will be to remove spam from the YouTube um, account, because for some reason YouTube has a spam issue recently. Email info at corecardsnews.com. Tell me what your YouTube account name is, why you think you'd be a good moderator to help with that. And we're gonna kinda look for people who have been seeing here for a little while, who've been active and wanna help take out the spam. Is there any talk about um, Hearst owned stations coming to streaming? Yes, I believe I have heard that Hearst is working on those deals. Any legal um, challenges to DirecTV Now and AT&T loyalty deal? Probably not, James. Um, I, I don't believe it's violating any laws. Why is it Super Chat? Super Chat is if you really want to make sure I see um, a comment, 
you can donate a couple dollars on YouTube. It's something that YouTube does now on, on live feeds. And your comment will be highlighted and will hang there um, so it doesn't get missed in the in the feed. And we got a few hundred people between the two streams right now on YouTube and Facebook. And the chat can go pretty quick and sometimes things are missed. And that, that's YouTube's answer. Do you like CBS All Access? I'm not against CBS All Access. I think CBS would make more money by putting their content on um, Hulu and so forth, but I'm not against it. Um, do you know if Amazon Prime will be on Apple TV in time for the regular NFL season? George, no, they said this summer, so it's possible, but they have not said. BIN Sports on DirecTV Now, they haven't said anything. No, um, they haven't said anything about it coming there. So could it happen? Sure. Uh, my recommendation is email both, say you want it. One thing, you know, if you want a channel uh, to come to a service or show, email the content owners and it will, you know, they really do listen to you. You know, I know when I get off here, there was a news article on CNN, on CNN that Fox and Mike Judge, I hope I say his last name right, the creator of King of the Hill, which is a show I love and my wife loves, just uh, started having talks about a renewal, a set, a uh, Reboot or you know another set of uh, episodes of King of the Hill coming to Fox. Heck yeah, um, I would love that. So I'm gonna go after this email Fox. Be like, bring back my King of the Hill, and we'll see if they do it. But you know that is really the most effective. I see a lot of people like, oh, we're gonna have a symbolic day of protest versus this or that or the other thing, or you know whatever. That's all great, but. One of the most effective ways is just emailing the people that are responsible for that kind of thing and tell them you want that to happen. You'd be amazed. It's remarkably effective out there at getting it to happen. All right. So, um, any idea when uh, DirecTV Now is getting DVR? Their DirecTV Now beta DVR is now live in the wild. They just added a bunch of people. It seemed like a couple weeks ago they added a very small number of testers. I think that was just the first wave to see if it's working. This week, they added a ton of beta testers to the DVR. They say this fall, will go public and everybody will have it. What it looks like, I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, Office Space 2, same guy. You know, the other show that um, Mike makes that I absolutely love is Silicon Valley on HBO. Same guy. Can't forget, though, he got to start making Beavis a butthead on MTV. So, the guy... He's got a couple of great shows under his belt there. No matter what you think of Beavis and Butthead or King of the Hill, even if you don't like it, you got to admit, the guy knows how to make some um, big name successes. Any news with the 3.0 standard and any broadcasters using it yet? Um, Sinclair and I can't remember the other company, the second largest um, over there TV owner. So the largest over there TV owner and the second largest both announced that they are launching a live uh, 3.0 over there TV in the coming year or so. So yeah, 3.0 seems to be going great. Um, and Sinclair is um, spending millions to get cell phone developers to put antennas into cell phones. So keep that in mind. Is the DVR beta available, um, beta available on Roku? We don't know. We just don't know. You know, DirecTV now has basically said nothing about the DVR beta. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, you can attach the Mahu Leap to a wall. You can attach it to a window. You can do it to both. Um, try both and see where you can find the best possible um, one out there. Yes, Chris, the 3.0 over the TV standard does mean that the it is designed to do a bunch of th really cool things. For one, it will offer 4K. And the other thing is it is designed to punch through um, and offer better reception through trees and some smaller hills. It's still not going to go through mountains and so forth, but it says it will be better reach farther. Um, you know, the signal will go farther, basically. Um, you know, it may not work on the wall for you. You you may not get anything on the wall, but it works for me on the wall. So 
Remember where you live, everybody's experience is going to be different with antennas. They're all going to point in different directions, different results. All right, everybody. Um, as a streaming service, what um, rate would you give PlayStation View? You know, it's not a bad streaming service. I'm not going to give it a number. It's not a bad streaming service. The name needs to be changed. It's very confusing, causing people not to subscribe to it because they think they need a PlayStation. Two, um, PlayStation needs to do a better job communicating with their subscribers. I think they would keep... Um, I think they'll keep more subscribers if they would communicate to them. There's no reason why DirecTV now should have more subscribers than PlayStation View. PlayStation View is a decent service. It's been around a long time. Lastly, um, the uh, um, Roku app is hurting them. If they would upgrade the Roku app, PlayStation View would get a ton more subscribers. All right, that is it. I'm going to hit a quick ad over on the... YouTube account, that will come right back, but these ads help pay for Corkar Zoos and help me support my family. We'll be right back. Um, to everybody who's either got YouTube right or watching me on Facebook, thank you for being here. Please follow us on Twitter at Corkar's News, especially on YouTube.com slash Corkar's News. We're almost at 15,000 people. Excuse me, other side. I'm using the wrong finger. Um, we're almost at 15,000 people on YouTube. Would really like to top 15,000 people. Um, you know, out there and um, on our YouTube account. We're we're crawling. I, I don't know. Quick thing before everybody goes, I love your feedback. What do you think the new videos I've been doing on YouTube? The more of a how to get, you know, how to set up your antenna for the best results, tips for new cord cutters. Well, you know, has anybody been watching the videos? What do you think? We've been trying some new stuff to try to help more people become cord cutters. So a little Q&A. You know, if you got any feedback there, I'd love to hear it. General, you know, if you got any feedback about Core Cards News in general, let me know. I would love to hear what you think. Otherwise, I think we're going to wrap this up, and that's going to be it today. But if anybody's got any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Um, DIY and HGTV are pretty much on every live TV streaming service. Sling TV, DirecTV Now, PlayStation View, etc. Thanks, Alvin. I hope I said that name right. Thank you, George. Uh, Tim, thank you for the nice comments. James, thank you. Thank you, Duke. And don't forget, if you're interested in being a moderator, send us an email, info at corecardsnews.com. Everybody's just saying they love it, so I'm going to keep making videos. We're going to keep doing weekly Q&As, so join us next week, Wednesday. Next week will be Wednesday. I can't imagine um, I'll have a second conflict in a row. So join us next week, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot to Core Cars News and my family and keeps us going. The um, the email to apply to be a mod is info at corecarsnews.com. Info at corecarsnews.com. It's just info at the website. And, and make sure you include your YouTube handle, what name you use, why you think you'd be a mod. And we're looking for people who've been active on the chats to kind of help keep the um, um, everything clean. Thanks, Colin. Glad to see you really like the Facebook group, too. That's a great one. Core kind of tech support over there on Facebook. When will the clear stream and Tempe on um, Amazon? I think it is now, Scott. All right, that's it, everybody. I'm off. Go and put the kids to bed. Have a great night. I will see you all next week, Wednesday. And thank you, really. Thank you greatly for your support.